Hey, what's going on you guys? Thank you for joining me again for our daily series. It's gonna be daily for a little while. Today, we are talking about the tool roll and what tools you need to bring to properly maintain your vehicle when you're off the grid, you're out on the trail, what do you wanna bring with you? Now, and it's not a simple answer and I'm not being non-committal. I'm gonna show you exactly what's in my kit, but there are a couple of things you need to consider. First and foremost, what vehicle are you trying to maintain? Uh, to avoid bringing the full spectrum of the Craftsman Tool product line, you need to know what vehicle you're trying to maintain and then pare it down to what that vehicle needs. I'm stating the obvious, but it needs to be said. Uh, second consideration is how many vehicles will you be trying to support? If you are the most well-equipped rig in your crew on the trail, you might want to consider what the other vehicles might need as well. And in that case, you might bring in metric as well as standard. And there are three extra wrenches for a Land Rover. All right, categories. I have a few basic categories in the kit. The first category is just the basic tool set. So that includes screwdrivers, wrenches, sockets, Allen wrenches, pliers, a variety of different pliers and things of that nature. Then I have a separate bag that has three additional categories. So category two would be um, a grease gun. So that's what I need if I really pull things apart and I need to grease um, uh, specific parts. The, the third category, third cat, one take wonder. <laughs> One, two, third category is electrical. What tools do I need to do a proper electrical repair? And the fourth and final category that we're really gonna go into today is specialty tools and specialty items. So specialty tools might be an engine code reader. Um, it might be a specific type of wrench or a C-clamp, something that's big and bulky and a specialty expendable might be something like self-fusing silicone tape that you can use to repair just about everything. Now another category that you may see that I'm not gonna go into a, a great amount of detail in is a tire repair because that could have a video all on its own. It's very important, your tire repair tools and what you need, that could be its own video. Um, now, one final thing, there are best practices, there are. And sometimes when you're repairing your vehicle to get it home or to get you and your loved ones back to civilization, you abandon best practices. So you're gonna see some things in the kit like electrical tape. Well, a proper repair should never use electrical tape. You're right, but sometimes it comes in handy. Likewise, never repair a sidewall puncture on a tire. Well, <laughs> if I'm 50 miles off grid and I need to repair, a sidewall puncture to get my family home, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna see a variety of things and some are catch-alls, that is certainly true. All right, let's take a look at what we got. All right, so there's the tool roll. We'll get to the other bag in just one second, but we're gonna go through the, the philosophy of this a little bit. First of all, I wanna mention that this is the Adventure Tool Company. We've had this for about a year and a half. Love it. It's not even showing signs of wear. They're super heavy duty. They are um, in on the higher end of, of tool rolls. Um, going through this really, really quickly. Over here, I have large items in this big pocket in the uh, in the tool roll and it's almost like a, a magical bag of holding. I've got my big shears, um, vice grips, C-clamps, larger uh, plier cutters, and razor blades, things of that nature in that bag. Now going along here, I actually keep the um, uh, the jack handle in my tool roll. Convenient place for it. The bottle jack has a place that straps down. These went into a bag from the factory. Um, I just consolidate them into my tool roll at this point. 
bottle jack because it's one of the most awesome uh, self-recovery tools available above high lift jack above all kinds of other things just a standard bottle jack on a solid axle you're good to go okay <clears throat> i have my my other toolbox and set of wrenches again these wrenches are for my rig i don't have the full spectrum of wrenches i don't have metric and standard i just have the wrenches that are needed for this vehicle same with the sockets a couple of different size sockets depending on the job one big motivator because you always want a motivator. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description where I have all this stuff listed out. So don't be feverishly writing things down. I'm gonna give you guys a list and there'll be a, a, a PDF document to it. Okay, then a variety of um, Phillips and standard screwdrivers and then this little bad boy here um, is a catch-all and what goes with that is a variety of socket heads that go with this driver, okay? That goes in here, that goes there, my driver goes back here, and then a variety of different pliers, okay? So I've got uh, wire cutters, a smaller set of ice grips, standard pliers, needle nose, pl needle nose pliers, and for the, the screwdrivers, I am going to point out the extremes. Big guys, little stubby guys, because sometimes these are the only way you can get to the thing you need to, to, to get to. You need a, a short little shorty. Um, got a couple of files in there, and then over here... I have grease pencil. Uh, this comes in extremely handy. Uh, you'd be surprised, especially for, for tire repair. And then I do have a variety of Allen keys as well. Um, I have a variety that slips just into that pocket. This, extremely handy. You drop something, little mirror, take a good look at what the issue is, at least identify the issue and learn whether or not you need to spend the next two hours trying to contort your hand to get a specific bolt or part. Comes in handy. All right, so that is it for the basic tool set. This is far beyond what came from the factory. Um, this big pocket here, just as far as the tool roll goes, this is for, you know, documentation manuals and, um, you know, you could even use it for maps or something like that. But uh, uh, some simple documentation if you have your uh, owner's manual can go right in that pocket. Okay, let's get to the other tool bag. Right, let's uh, let's go through this bag, which has a variety of different things in it. Um, this is really a catch-all. Basic tools, and now these are the other three categories that I talked about, which are um, electrical, grease, and the specialty items. So this thing is an enormous bag of holding. Bag of holding. Anyone? D and D. Anyone? Okay. So what I like about this bag, as opposed to a standard uh, toolbox, is it's kind of like a medical bag that makes things really accessible. This opens up quite wide so that you can see everything that's in here. It doesn't have a drawer or anything like that that is, um, you know, hard to get through or things collect down at the bottom. So th that's really nice. And uh, the interior is day glow orange, so it makes things easier to see. Um, okay, so first of all, let's go through grease gun first because grease gun is simple, right? Doesn't take any time at all. So it's a little mini guy, okay? A little mini grease gun. And I have little grease cartridges here. These cartridges, if it gets hot, they're gonna leak. Just keep that in mind. I put them in a Ziploc bag. Then I have a variety of different um, lubricants. I have a uh, dry lube and um, a WD-40 here. And then the other thing I have in here is butane for 
doing some uh, wire repair. Okay, put that back in there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now let's look at wire repair real quick. So first of all, get yourself a good pair of wire tools. Makes all the jobs a lot easier. Don't go with the little cheapies, get a good one if you can. And then here is my variety of electrical tape. You'd be surprised colored electrical tape to color code things comes in very handy. You know, if both ends are green, you know it goes to the same device. Okay, electrical tape. Then wire ties, a variety of heat shrink tubing, fuses, and different wire connectors in this bag. And that's, these are what I call little G dammits. And uh, I put them in a bag to keep them all tidy. Then wire. If you're gonna do wire repair, you might need some wire. Solder, one of those bad electrical tools that I talked about that I said don't get. More wire, a tester, please, you have to have a tester. And then the basics for the solder. This is a butane uh, uh, solder, uh, solder iron. It doesn't require any electricity, but it does require the butane, which you saw I had in the other compartment. So solder to do your wire repair. And that is basically it in the electrical uh, side of things. Okay. Specialty. See, I'm not having to, you guys can see, I actually have plenty of room for all this stuff. I don't have to go through a song and a dance every time I want to put my stuff away. Specialty section. Here we go. So, <laughs> right on top. Duct tape and bailing wire. Seriously. Like, you need it. This is um, a gooey, sticky, um, uh, it, it's called flex tape. It will repair hoses and things of that nature. Then specialty tools. So I have specialty tools in here to do very specific jobs. I have my engine tester. Um, it's, it's cheapy. It's like 40 bucks. Then more wire ties. JB Weld. Silicone. This is that silicon self-fusing tape that repairs just about anything. It does a really good job. Um, this is um, most adaptable repair material forge. Heat shape fix. Really good because it requires heat. If you're in really cold temperatures, it's hard to get to work. And um, some high heat uh, resistant epoxy putty. Again, I mentioned a little bit earlier that there's a lot of catch-all in here. Um, some of this stuff that you see will just get you home and that's what it's for, right? So we had the basic tool set and then we have the catch-all. What do I need to fabricate? What can I do to get myself home? That with a variety of like ratchet straps and other, you know, spare uh, parts and things of that nature that I carry in the rig that is not part of the actual tool kit but this is a variety of things to hopefully get me home. All right, so those are the specialty items. Now, before we wrap up today's video, let's talk about why a tool roll. Um, because hopefully you guys saw, hopefully you guys saw how easy it was to have full display of all of my tools when I unrolled that thing. Uh, it's just a, you know, I've had lots of toolboxes in the back of the 80. And once I went tool roll, I'll really never go back because just like that, I have all my tools out in front of me. And it is so nice to be able to just take your tool roll, actually put it out on the trail, lay it out and have all your tools readily accessible. It's a very convenient way to store them. Um, toolbox, you're digging for tools. Here, you're not digging for tools. You can see them all and you just grab what you need. So I really like the tool roll. All right, you guys, hey, that's about it. Again, I'm gonna include all this stuff. You're gonna need to modify and make your own kit specific to your vehicle and your needs, but at least you'll have a starting point you know, um, I'll mention one other thing. When I first started building up this kit, what I did was I went to the factory Toyota Land Cruiser kit that came with the vehicle 
and I made sure I had a good version of everything that was in that kit. And then I built up from there. All right, you guys, that's it. Hope you guys are being well, staying, so, staying safe and planning for your next adventure. We'll see you on the trail soon enough and I will see you right here tomorrow. Thank you.